Hello, we are here on this brooder today. Through this brooder, I want to show you how you can vaccinate your buds. The vaccination schedule of the buds. Because we don't want to show you what we don't do. This is our brooder. Uh, we, use, we use our solar panel here. Uh, this one is used for lighting. Then you, you follow me inside, you see what we do. Uh, we also use the pot. The pot that we use for putting fire and the heat. So as you can see, the brooder is set, clearly set. We make it in a circular form. Then we put the water at least in an even direction and the feeders in an even direction. These are broilers that came in two days ago. If you keep your buds, you must be able to do the following. Number one, you must vaccinate your buds. Number two, you must disinfect and keep by security all the time. Ensure there are no visitors entering in. Even if they are entering, they must all of them be disinfected. You have to have a foot bath on the gate. Oh, you have to have a spray that you spray the clothing of people, the cars they enter, whatever enters the farm must be sprayed or disinfected. So, if you can keep the vaccine, if you can disinfect and you boost the immune system by giving them the greens, your farm will thrive. So today, I want to share with you the vaccination schedule that is almost universal, but of course the vaccination schedule is vary. They vary from batch to batch or maybe from the flock to flock. Because if you have a, the flock that is having Marex, the flock that is having Newcastle, that has Gumboro, so the disease is vaccinated because of the parent stock. Here we're giving you almost a universal vaccination schedule. It works for both breeders, layers, for the Sasso, Crayers, all the local birds, everything. A vaccine is that weakened disease that, that is, uh, has an agent of a disease causing organism. When it enters the body of an animal, the body of a hen, it makes it very active, it makes the disease active and then weakens it. So it means the body is able to fight the disease because the immune system has been boosted. So that's why we give the vaccines. So on the first day, you must vaccinate against the Marex disease. Marex disease, if you don't vaccinate against it, it is the disease that goes get the birds at, at the age of four months. It kills the flock almost to 90%. So if you don't vaccinate against the malaria disease, you are not a farmer any time you are out of business. We, we go for day two, we usually do NCD and uh, IB, that is Newcastle plus infectious bronchitis. We, we do it because sometimes our farms have this disease, so we don't want to take any advantage. So when you get the, the, when you get the birds coming to a new farm, of course, they are traveling into the different cars. People will come from the farms to pick them from the different picking points of the hatchery people. So we vaccinate them against Newcastle plus IB, that is infectious bronchitis. On, on day, day six, we do Gumboro. We want to give our buds this strong immune system. So on day one, I said Malex. Day two, Newcastle plus infectious bronchitis, that is NCD plus IB. Then on day six, we do Gumboro. This one, I've given you all the diseases as we do, we have been having videos. Gumboro is one of the diseases that kills almost 60% of your buds. It causes diolea in these buds. If you see some diolea, that is Gumboro. Then we must vaccinate on day 10, Newcastle Plain. This is one of the diseases that makes farmers get out of business. Once Newcastle hits your buds, once Newcastle comes into your bar in your farm, you're finished. It also kills 60% of the flock, so you must vaccinate. On day 14, we get to give them Gumboro again. We want these buds to be strong, whether broilers or layers. So on day 14, give them Gumboro disease. And uh, all these things I've talked about, all these vaccines I've talked about, that is Newcastle, Newcastle plus IB, infectious bronchitis, all these are vaccinated either in the eye drop or in the water. On day 28, we have fall pox. Now this one is different. We vaccinate in the wing web. The, the bird's web is like this. You see my arm? That's the bird's web. So when you're vaccinating, you ensure that you 
appears in between the web. Uh, you, as you can see, as a, in this video, as I did vaccination before, when you're vaccinating, you sure to pierce it in through the web. On one and a half months, it's when we vaccinate against full typhoid. This typhoid is expensive, both on the vaccine and on treatment. This actually, this vaccine, you cannot find it in a simple, simple vet shops. They don't have, most of them don't have 100 doses. They have 500 plus, and they're very expensive. No currents today, you got the shillings. They said that 75,000, all hundred thousand for the 1,000 flock, or for 500 flock. So when you're vaccinating, you ensure that you do it properly. The medicine is very expensive. And you, of course, you may jump it, you may dodge it. But if the flock is hit by this typhoid, you are finished. For typhoid, we do it in the chest. We inject in the chest. That is uh, what we call subcutaneous. So the bud is injected. You take just half a meal out of the bottle. You inject it. All these videos, I've done them before. But I want to at least always remind you, those who have not watched the videos, to be reminded. And if it is your first time on this channel, please subscribe. And you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any other video. Every week we do about two videos. So I request you to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any other video. These days we are trying to vaccinate also against uh, infectious colizer. That's why I told you that the vaccination schedule specifically depends on the flock of the mother's stock or the parent stock. So if we don't have infectious colizer in the parent stock, we need to vaccinate against it. But also it disturbs many farmers. This is why you find the, the birds having quite discharge out of the eyes. It's almost like full pox as look at it. But infectious colizer today is becoming also a threat. So in summary, we must vaccinate against Marex, Newcastle, infectious bronchitis, poor typhoid, poor pox, and gumboro. Those are six diseases that we must vaccinate against. So we, this vaccine has been done in a span of one and a half months. So every two months, you must vaccinate against Newcastle. Then when you do Newcastle, Newcastle this month, you do the, the other two months, you do Newcastle plus infectious bronchitis together. It's a combined vaccine in one bottle. However, if you are doing organic farming, you can stop the vaccines at the age of one and a half months. Then you give them greens, orange. You give them our herbal medicines. You give them the garlic, aloe vera, neem tree, and the tajiri, moringa, the... the I've given you all the plants that you can give your birds. You can check my videos. I put them in the comment section. So that means you can have a farm. As long as you vaccinate, your farm thrives. So thank you for watching our videos. This is Katap once again. I say thank you and see you in the next video.